Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be showing you how to change the background color in WordPress. So this is pretty simple to do and once you have your WordPress theme installed, all you need to do is go to your home page. So I'm at my dashboard right now and I'm just going to go up here and then click on visit site. That's going to take me to my home page right here. And now for most WordPress themes, they're going to have this little button up here at the top that says customize. So we're just going to click on that. And then this left sidebar right here is going to pop up and where we're going to want to go is advanced settings and then to colors. And then right here where it says background color, that's where you're going to go to switch your color. So we could change this to anything we want. We could switch it to yellow. We could switch it to red, white, black maybe. And then if you decide you want to go back to your default color, all you need to do is go up here and click on default and that will bring back the default color. And then if you go right here, you'll notice this is a hex color code here. And say maybe you wanted to have the same type of color as a certain website that you like. All you would need to do is find out what hex color code they're using, and then you can paste it in right there, and you'll have the same background color. And then also, too, if you decide you wanted to maybe change your background image right here and switch this into an image, you can go right there to background image. Then you can select an image here and upload it and then it will put that as your WordPress background. And that's how simple it is to change your background color in WordPress. Now I'm going to include a few more tips in this video that you guys can check out and also don't forget to check out my channel where there's even more videos on WordPress that will walk you through step by step everything you need to know. So check these tips out here and I will catch you guys in the next video. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is create our first blog post. And to do that, we're going to come over here to the left where it says post. And then we're going to click on the add new button. And then once we get here, this is what your blank post is going to look like. As you can see, there's a spot for a title. And then everything right here is where you're going to add your content. And then if you come over here and click on this button, if this ever disappears right here, this post and block section right here, all you have to do is click on this button and then it'll bring it back up. But what I'm going to do is go to this post right here that I already created to show you guys an example of what it should look like. So if we scroll down right here, you'll see that I have the title and then I have some text right here and then an image. And if we keep scrolling down, another image that links out to a website. I'll show you guys how to do that. And then if you keep going down, a YouTube video. I'll show you guys how to put that in too. If we scroll back up, I'll show you how I did all this stuff right here. Okay, so the first thing you're going to notice is when you move your mouse around here, you'll notice these little lines come up right here. And then this plus button. These are called blocks. And basically... What they do is if you click on one of them, for example, if you want to write some text, you would click on paragraph, and then you guys can add in your own text. And then if you go back and click on it again, you'll notice other stuff like an image. That's how I got this image right here. And all you have to do is click on the upload button and then you select your image and then it will automatically pop up or you can click on your media library. And for example, if I click this image and then click select, it simply pops up just like that. And if you guys want to delete it, select it, click delete. Or say that you guys want to have an image that if someone clicks on, it will take them to a different website. So for example, right here, if I click on this image, you'll notice this little button right here, which says insert link. All you have to do is click on that. And say, for example, if you wanted to um, have this link to a YouTube video, you would go up to your YouTube URL, you would copy it, and then you paste it in right here, and you just click on this apply button. And then anytime somebody goes and clicks on this image right here, it will send them to whatever the link is that you put inside that little box. And then also, since we're on the subject of images, if you go here to where it says post, you scroll down, you'll see something called a featured image. And this is basically 
the image that's going to pop up on your home page for your website for each one of your posts if you look at my home page right here and you scroll down you will see these images right here these are all your featured images and to set a featured image all you have to do is click on it's going to say set featured image and then you just click on it or if you want to change it you can click replace and it's the same thing as every other image that you're going to um, put in there you just select the one that you want uh, click on set featured image and then your featured image will be set and then also too if you guys don't want a featured image you can leave it blank and you can just click on remove featured image and you can keep it blank and then nothing will show up for it and then if we keep scrolling up here you'll notice something else here called categories we're gonna get more into this in just a minute but if we go back over here to some more um, basic stuff like say you want to bold something you simply just click this the bold button and that'll bold that for you and if you do want to get rid of it select it again click on bold gets rid of it and then say you guys have an image that you want to be centered or maybe you want it to go to the left or the right you just click on this alignment um, button right here and click on align center and then that image will be centered for you and then if we scroll down here to where the YouTube video is I'll show you guys how to do that so all you're gonna do is click on one of these blocks right here and then you're gonna click on this YouTube button and if this doesn't show up just search for YouTube right here and then it will pop up Then after that just click on that and then you're gonna take your URL for your YouTube video which is right here and you're gonna copy that you come back and you're gonna paste it in and click on embed and now your YouTube video is embedded in your post and then if you guys want to get rid of it you can just select it right here and then click on remove block and then it's gone and now if you guys ever want to put space between some text all you have to do for example right here is go and click a block and then if you type in spacer this will pop up and you can uh, go over here to the right and this is going to determine how many um, how many pixels or how much space is going to be between those words so if you guys want a lot of space between something you can bring this bar up or if you don't you can bring it back down so that way if you guys need to put space in between anything you can and again if you want to delete it just select it hit delete and then it's gone and then also too if you guys want to switch the color of your text for example if I um, highlight this right here and you go over here to uh, color settings you'll see right there uh, you can change the text color switch it to whatever you want there it's red you can also switch the background color too and this is sometimes good if you want something to stand out well and then also too if you guys want to undo anything that you did previously you can click on this undo button you can see you can just go back and I'll bring it back to normal go one more time and then also too don't be afraid to just go and check everything out too like for example with the block section if you click on browse all just go through this stuff and check it all out click on it and then you know if you don't like something just delete it but that just sort of helps you get familiar with everything so that's pretty much going to cover everything we need to on the post section now i'm going to go and show you how to create categories and basically what these are used for is just to help people navigate your site a little bit easier so if we go over to my site here and scroll up you're gonna see all these different categories right here and I'm gonna show you how to put these categories into a menu that will show up on your home page just like this And if you guys ever want to go back to your dashboard from your home page here all you would do is go up to where it says your site title and then click on dashboard